Hello again and welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to look at how you can improve the audio from a small camera such as the Osmo Pocket or a GoPro or something similar to that, particularly when you're out and about and uh, maybe doing a, creating a vlog or something like that. So I've just been using this little um, Osmo Pocket for creating some video outside, but the audio quality that is recorded natively in the device itself is pretty poor. So what I'm actually doing is I'm replacing the audio with audio that I have recorded on this Zoom H1N recorder. It's actually a microphone and a recorder, but I'm not using the microphone part of it um, at the moment, um, I'm using a lavalier microphone that I have plugged in and pinned to my shirt here. So we're making the recording on this and replacing the native recording. In this case, for the introduction from my camera, which is a Sony A7R, but for the demonstration purposes, we're gonna go out and create a little bit of a vlog using the Osmo Pocket, and I'm gonna replace the native audio that was recorded by this with the audio track that was recorded on the Zoom H1N recorder, which I find a pretty handy little device. So it's really easy to do, and we're gonna use the facility in Premiere, which is multi-camera source sequence. And basically what we're going to use it to do is simply just to align the two audio tracks so that they are exactly in sync and we can replace the native track with the recorded track on the recorder, which will be very much higher quality. So we're gonna go into Premiere, and I'm gonna show you just how to do that. We can do it quickly and easily, and I hope you can follow along with me. So we're now in Premiere, and I have loaded the video file from the Osmo Pocket here, and I have also loaded the audio file from the Zoom recorder. So I'm going to select these both, and I'm going to right click or control click on the file from the Osmo Pocket and choose Create Multi-Camera Source Sequence. This opens the multi-camera dialog and here we can choose a name for the multi-camera source sequence that we're going to create. I'm happy with audio demo in this case. And we choose a synchronization method to align the two media files together. In this case, I'm gonna choose audio because I want Premiere to automatically synchronize the audio on the timeline. And I'm gonna use mix down since I don't wanna pick either channel one or channel two. You can choose a sequence preset which controls the resolution and the frame rate of your file, among other things. However, I'm going to let it stay at automatic and it will inherit the characteristics from the Osmo Pocket file, which was recorded at 2.7K and 25 frames per second. I'm going to choose switch audio for the sequence settings here. We will, for the final piece of work, choose all cameras, but for the moment, so that I can demonstrate to you the difference in quality between the two audio files, I'm going to stick with switch audio and leave the audio channel preset at automatic. So I click OK on that and Premiere does its work and creates a multi-camera sequence for us. I can right click or control click in that and open it in the timeline. And here you can see that the file is opened in our timeline. I'm going to just increase the size of these tracks so that you can see the waveforms within them. And what I'm going to do is set the volume of both of the tracks to be the same. So I'm going to right click or control click and go into audio gain. And I'm going to normalize the maximum peak to minus three decibels, which is the volume that I normally use. I'm gonna do that for both of these tracks so that they're both the same. That will be useful for comparison purposes. So they're both set the same, and now I can indicate to you just the difference between the two audio tracks. So I've selected the timeline, and I'm gonna press the backslash key in order just to get the entire timeline within the window. I'll move to 
about two thirds of the way through and you can see now the short piece of log that we have created outside. So in order to see the difference between these two or in order to hear the difference between these two audio tracks, I'm going to mute the track from the Zoom recorder and play only the sound from the Osmo Pocket. So let's hear how that sounds. Have it. Um, right in and protected from the wind and um, and that will so that's a short piece from the audio track from the o osmo pocket i'll switch them around now and mute the uh, the osmo pocket and unmute the zoom recorder prove the audio track that you're actually capturing at the time so that shows you the difference i'll just go back and show it to you once more so um the osmo pocket's not the ideal that's the Osmo Pocket, and now going back to the Zoom recorder. The Osmo Pocket's not the ideal device for capturing this kind of thing. So that shows you pretty clearly the comparison between the two. So what I'm going to do is go back now and show you, without the demo aspect to it, just how you would use this in practice. So I'll just delete the multi-camera source sequence that we created. I'll select the two files again. I'll right click or control click and create a multi-camera source sequence. And this time in the dialogue, I'm not gonna choose switch audio, but I'm gonna choose all cameras and say, okay to that. And we have the multi-camera source sequence created. I'll open it in the timeline so that we can see it. And here you can see that we have that. I'll just mute the track from the Osmo Pocket and I'm going to right click or control click on that multi-camera sequence and create a new sequence from clip and now we have a regular sequence that we could rename and give it whatever name we want but what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the track that we don't need in order to do that i'm just going to select them all and i'm going to type Control l to unlink them that allows me to select only the track that has the audio from the osmo pocket i'll press delete to get rid of it and then I will select the video and audio components and I'm going to type control L again and I've now linked those back together so there's no danger of them going out of sequence and if we want to play that there is between them when we put both the audio tracks onto the onto the video vlog that is being captured here so you can see now that we have the video and the audio perfectly synchronized but we have the high quality audio from the zoom recorder rather than the native audio from the osmo pocket so i think you'll find that that is a pretty easy way to get high quality audio uh, without too much trouble and without having radio connections to your microphones and various other things like that just simply use a pocket recorder in my case i just think the zoom h1n is brilliant and flexible for all of those sorts of things and i regularly record my audio with it so i hope you find that that helps um, and uh, and if it does please tune in to further videos thanks for listening so if you have enjoyed this video and benefited from it then please subscribe to my channel hit the bell and you'll be notified of the new videos as they're uploaded i'm going to post a new video each week covering premiere pro after effects audition photoshop and lightroom so if you're interested in learning about these projects then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell and get a new video every week.